Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got a very special summoning for you guys. That's right. We are going to be doing our 20k subscriber special and we're going to be dipping into all of the galaxy bookmarks that I currently have saved up. All 130 Wait a minute, that's not quite right. Oh. That's right. We haven't yet exchanged the uh, gold transmit stones we have for those bookmarks. So, you see here, six gold transmit stones give you five galaxy bookmarks, and <laughs> there is a cap to this. So, we can exchange 600 for, that's right, 500 galaxy stones. We're not done yet, guys. You know, we gotta go all in. So, another 90 more galaxy bookmarks, 722 galaxy bookmarks uh, saved up for you guys in this celebration and you all know how we got to start things off we got to start off with a little warm-up summons but right before we jump into that this video is actually sponsored by Sakura Co and Tokyo Treat but more on them later our first daily summon here but then we're gonna dip into the element summons and you definitely don't want to miss those because uh, that is where we get a ton of dupes and hopefully dupes of five stars that we really really need now as of recording this video here as you can see the mystic summon actually does not have um, does not have uh, what's her face uh, ML politis just yet I'm gonna be doing this for you guys Two hours and 30 minutes until she comes out, but I'm not going to wait. We're going to dip right into the Moonlight Summons here, and uh, let's get on with it. So, uh, let's do the Element Summons first, right? So, we're going to... Oh, yeah, we also have Light and Dark Summons as well. I forgot about that. So, let's start with the Earth. Uh, we're going to do all of our normal summons uh, first, and then we're dipping into the ML ones. Now, these summons actually have a really high rate of getting uh, four and five stars. So if you click on here, and then you click on this right here, you see there's a 5% uh, five chance to get a five star, 35% for a four star, right? And then it's even better for these, 30% uh, chance for a five star hero with the uh, special four to five summon ticket, right? So let's, uh, let's blow through these real quick. And hopefully we get some good stuff. I've been saving these as well because these are all honestly really, really good summons. Uh, if, if you get these tickets, uh, there's a really good chance that you're gonna- Oh shoot, I forgot. Uh, Leah exists as a character. Ooh. I, uh, I actually don't have one built up, uh, honestly. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to get dupes to get SSS imprints on a lot of characters that are five stars. Like, work towards the SSS, right? Now, of course, we're gonna get a lot of four stars here, which is not terrible. All right, I'll take these. I do have, I think, every four star in the game, like, fully um, SSS, right? And just kind of sit in there, just in case one day they get buffed, and that, which I highly recommend to you guys, too, by the way. Um, if you're a newer player, if you're starting out, if you just found this channel, uh, yeah, hi highly recommend that you guys save up one copy of every character at the very least. Uh, in the future, they might be useful, you never know. Alright, so, ooh, so many Earth Summons here. Um, but yeah, I, I really do want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Like, this is something I do as a hobby, and I think more and more of you guys are starting to find out. Uh, as the as the weeks, the months, the years go by, that um, I, I'm actually a teacher, so I am a math teacher, and I teach middle school, uh, usually seventh eighth graders, and uh, this is just a hobby of mine that I started several years ago. I actually started doing this channel with Yu-Gi-Oh content back in college when I was getting back into the game, and uh, it slowly turned into me playing some mobile games like Fate Grand Order and stuff. Used to stream that a little bit here and there. And uh, now, here I am doing Epic 7 content, fully immersed into the game. And uh, we're celebrating 20,000 subscribers. That's just insane. Just again, I, I always kind of allude to this like, uh, when you think about 20,000 people, like, think about how many people that is packed into like a building, right? absolutely insane to think about uh, and I know it's a relatively small number for you know a lot of bigger channels out there right but 20,000 to me is for something I do as a hobby on the side it's, it's incredible and again I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support the comments always hilarious to read some of you guys are really funny and witty and I love that the humor is fantastic um, and I'm really proud of the community that we've managed to to create together, right? 
Uh, also, I think we're getting scammed, so I have not seen a single... Where's the five stars? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Alright, let's do ice next. Uh, three to five star, more like three to four stars, am I right? We have not seen a single five star hero. That's insane. Oh, oh, here we go. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Five minutes into the video, we're finally getting a five star. Ooh, Luluka. Actually, wow, I've gotten enough copies of her to get uh, Covenant coins. That's insane. But Luluka will probably go into Ocean Breeze Luluka, right? I'd probably imprint her. I think. I'd, I'd probably. Actually, I don't have Tomoka, that's right. Hey, maybe today we'll get Tomoka when we do our summons, who knows? Alright, let's see. Um, please, give me something good here. Give me something good. Need some more 5 stars. Actually, I don't know what ice units I really want imprints for. Maybe for something like Aria, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, maybe Shu, oh actually, maybe we could pull a couple shoes here. Um, I can maybe imprint ML Shu if we get her. I don't know if we're gonna get her. Uh, she is literally my most wanted ML5 unit. So I know some of you guys are probably wondering, asking like, hey, what do you, who do you want from these galaxy summons? Uh, I should probably show you guys my folder before we start. Uh, but yeah, uh, ML Shu is definitely like the top one. I don't have Tomoka. Uh, I don't have quite a few units actually, Commander Pavel and stuff like that too. Maybe it would help me out with building like an aggro or cleave team if I had access to him, so <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe. Maybe we'll become a cleaver one day once we get uh, all the units necessary for it. ML Ludwig! That's another one. Don't have ML Ludwig, yeah? Oh my god, the three stars galore, guys. What? Okay, it's fine. We're just doing warm-up summons. Like, these are all just, uh, to, you know, to get the bad luck out of the way, right? So that when we do our galaxy summons, we're, we're definitely going to be rewarded. Right? For sure? I mean, how many are we doing? Uh, 720. That's divide- Ooh! Divided by five, that's um, at least a hundred, it's almost a hundred fifty, I'd say, maybe? Uh, math teacher here doing some really bad quick maths in his head. Almost 150 summons, I think. All right, oh, oh, yo, I forgot they put them in the game. Oh shoot, wait, we can get the twins, right? Oh my God. Ragnvald, uh, Ragnvald, is that how you say his name? Ragnvald? Oh shoot, that's awesome! Uh, he's a, he has a twin sister, right, who's an ML, I think? So, oh wow, yes! I thought we didn't have anything new that would come up from, uh, from three stars. Oh, we got a little fake out here. Oh, so it's always Furious. Furious always fakes me out. Alright, come on now. Zerato, you love to see it. Come on, guys. We're really, really hoping. <laughs> we need another five stars somewhere. Got a Luluka, and that's about it. But don't worry, this is not the three uh this is not the four to five star summon ticket. Those are always, always better. Uh oh nice! Got another imprint of him. Dragon Ball, right? Definitely do love that. Okay, ooh, an Angelica, alright, and there it is, no more ice summons, so let's go for the fire ones, see what we got in store for us here, oh hey look, it's, it's, it's me, I <laughs> uh, love it, alright, uh, I think all the three star fires, I, I should have SSS imprints of, um, Unless I'm forgetting somebody, like I did previously, but I don't think there's a new fire 3-star. Oh my god, it's a Juni rate up, isn't it? It's a Juni rate up. Alright, finally, got a little 4-star action here. Got Kawazu. Okay. Wait, what? What happened? Did I double tap? Or, or maybe I tapped at the exact moment. Wow, that was a smooth transition there. Okay. Come on now. Oh. We need to get at least another, another five stars. So oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Who are we gonna get? Oh, it's a mage. Who's a fire mage? Oh, Pol Ooh, guys, ML Politis imprints, right? ML Politis imprint right here. That's what we like to see. Give me another Politis or two. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, I'll definitely, definitely want to uh, 
summon for her and build her up. Again, we're doing these summons like two hours, literally two hours before ML Politis comes out, so... Uh... <laughs> I should honestly be waiting, but it's alright. We'll, we'll, we'll summon for her separately so that uh, you guys get a guaranteed showcase for her as well. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to... you'd have to wait, and I don't, I don't want that. Alright, um... Come on now, come on now! Uh, at least we got some four stars, get some transmit stones here. Alright, got Dingo, that's pretty cool. I would love to see a little Blaze Dingo rework or something. He seems kinda nice. Uh, Claudia, actually, do I have Claudia SSS? I don't think so. Uh, it's really weird, because looking at Claudia's hair, like that little streak of purple, it just reminds me of uh, Vrains, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Uh, where <laughs> the protagonist has a little purple streak. I think I think he has a like blue hair and purple streak, something of the sort. But I I always uh I always think of him whenever whenever Claudia pops up. Oh man, we're getting oh come on guys, this is definitely just burning all our bad luck, right? So what's happening here? It's okay. Uh, got Corvus. Oh man, Corvus back in the day, what a menace, right? I think he's also one of the few units that gives himself Fury buff. I think. I think it's Fury. Uh, or Rage, or whatever, right? I keep saying Fury, but I, I think it's Rage. I think that's what it's called. Alright, what do we got with this one? Another Dingo. Alright. Come on now, Butcher Corpse. That's pretty cool, but his specialty change kind of needs a little bit of a buff, too kind of fallen off quite hard. He never really was super viable, but people did use him here and there for fun. Right, we got Kawazu. A lot of Kawazus. Oh, there we go. Come on. Another Politis. Let's go. Oh, it's a mage. Politis? Cowork? <laughs> it's Ball and Sazan. Hey, he was the last one. That's nice. You guys want to see a magic trick? Uh, yeah, here we go. Sage, or not even Sage Ball, it's just Ball and Sazan. Alright, 4 to 5 star summons, let's go. Let's go, 30% chance to get 5 stars with every pull here. So, let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? I'm hoping for at least one 5 star from each element, right? One green, one uh, blue, one red. We'll see. And then I'm also going to pull the uh, light and dark connections as well. We're going to see if we can uh, get those too. Oh, here we go! What is this, Earth? Ah, oh, who don't want from Earth? It's a warrior, Mui? Oh, Lilibet! Hey! That's going to be a Dilibet imprint. Is my Dilibet even SSS imprint? Oh, shoot. Oh, a back to back five stars, guys. Here we go. Uh, Earth Knight Yoha. No, <gasps> that's my man, my man Charles, here we go. Uh, this can actually be a imprint for Closer Charles. Uh, can they just buff Charles already? Favorite character in the game. Favorite male character is Charles, hands down. He's the coolest guy here. Ah, oh, no, no more four stars, okay. Um, I mean, no more five stars. We're getting four stars. Uh, Cartusia, got Pergus. Oh, here we go! Give me another Charles, guys, come on. Please, Charles, it's a sign. Oh, it's a knight! Oh, it's Yoha! Hey, we called her earlier, right? That's nice, though. Yoha imprint is good. Very good to see. Oh, another back-to-back -back five stars. See, I'm telling you guys, these element summons are top tier, right? Charles? <laughs> no, there's so many Earth Knights. Hang on, this is not too bad. I got Mort. Should I save him for ML Mort? Or is ML Mort gonna? No, ML Mort wouldn't be like Arc Demon and stuff, right? It's not like um, you're not gonna get imprints that way. Yeah, I think if they make an ML Mort, he would. Uh... You'd probably just imprint him with regular Mort. I don't think there's something to buy out of a the gold transmit shop for him. Right, not like Zeo, Straze, Arc Demon. He was like the only. Actually, is he the only? Is he the only boss that was not an ML? It's kind of funny, isn't it? Okay. Uh, the more imprint, very very nice. He does imprint to crit chance. So looking forward to that. I think I've saved like three or four extra copies of Mort now. So oh, can it be another Mort? <laughs> Are we gonna SSS Mort? No, a Vildred. 
Oh, oh, Pyrrha! Oh, sorry, we're not on- we're not on Earth anymore. Hang on, we're on ice. Wait, what? Um, my- my- my mind was so focused on more, I was like, ah, oh, Earth! Okay, Pyrrha's pretty cool! Kinda wanna see an ML Pyrrha, honestly, that'd be kinda nice. Uh, I don't really use Pyrrha, so I don't know if I'm gonna imprint her just yet. I'll probably just hold on to that copy of her. So that's kinda nice. Alright, come on, give me... nope, no sparks. So far, so good. We've gotten uh, quite a few Earth summons, Earth 5 stars, right? We got like one of each night. And now we're getting some. Um, now we're getting some Ice 5 stars too. That's pretty good. We just need to uh, hope that fire pulls through as well, right? Come on out. Oh, another 5 star. Let's go, guys. Let's go. What are we gonna get? It's another mage. Um, Oh, Arya! Nice! I do want Arya. She's con her E's coming out, too. Her exclusive equipment, which is gonna make her sick. There's more uh, effect res as an imprint, right? Very, very nice. Um, and she's a unit that I do actually want to use more. She's become more viable in the meta. Not too bad into Navy Captain Landy, honestly. And honestly, not too bad into... Oh, is another 5-star? Nice! Gotta take you! Okay, I need to build him up. Uh, but Arya is also really good into Genua, so because of, since his release, uh, people have been using him a lot more. Oh, cool! We're back in my guild. Uh, <laughs> I think I clicked a little too fast there. So let's go back to the element summons, and now let's dip into the the fire element summons. So four to five stars. Let's go. Oh, now fire! It's always gonna pay off. Look at that! Fire is great. Who's a mage here? Ooh, Tenebria! Oh, I like that. I do actually really want to build a fire Tenebria. Um, that is like a secret plan that's kind of in the works in the background. I really do want to build her. I feel like she's going to be super fun. Uh, the issue is the meta sucks and you can't sleep Navy Captain Landy, so... <laughs> Tenebria is going to be really hard to pull off. Uh, what are we going to get here? A Kades, okay. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Um, the most pulled unit in my account is probably like Fire Lytica, but another Fire unit- Oh, Ball and Cezanne. Okay, um, that's uh, I think I have like three extra copies of him now. I don't- Oh, you know what? I could actually probably just use him to imprint uh, my Sage Ball. I don't think my Sage Ball is SSS, so that's good. Ooh, a Fire Knight. Who's a Fire Knight 5 star? Oh, Charlotte! Nice! Wow, I've gotten this many copies of Charlotte already? Oh, that's insane. Uh, my Charlotte is... Is she imprinted? A little bit, maybe. Um, but my... I don't know if my Summer Break Charlotte got the imprints. One of them has imprints, and one of them doesn't. I think Summer Break Charlotte does have imprints. Or maybe she has, like, one. But Fire Charlotte, I think, might have more of the imprints for me. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Five star... Five star? No, it's a four star here. Got another warrior. Okay. Got another Corvus. Oh, and that's gonna be it for the elemental summons. But we still have light and dark, so let's go. Again, the light summon here. Alright. Oh, it's a three star! Shoot! I was hoping for something good here. No, Sonia. Sonia. Alright, darks. Let's see. Two two summons here. Please have a spark. Please. No! Okay, one more. There... Oh, wait, is this new? <gasps> Did we get a new 3-star? Oh! <laughs> Pernilla! That is awesome! Holy! Alright, let's go for one more summon, please? Oh, it's not a spark, but I can't believe we got Pernilla. That is fantastic. It took me like three years to get like a Penelope, I think. No, no. It took me a long time to get a Penelope, and I really, really wanted one, but yeah, anyway, got a Patisse here. Oh no, it took me three years to get a Coley, that's right, it's really hard to come by non-ML5s. Now, let's take a break from all the summoning and enjoy some snacks, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Sakurako and Tokyo Treat. The makers of Sakurako and Tokyo Treat want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of your own homes. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that supports local Japanese snack makers, each box coming with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. 
Included in every box is going to be an information booklet where you can learn more about the snacks that you receive, as well as allergen information. The booklet also contains a wealth of information about Japanese culture. This month's Sakura Ko theme is a night of Sakura. Now, did you know that it's still the cherry blossom season over in Japan? And did you know that the beauty of Sakura can be enjoyed not only during the day, but also at night, known as Yozakura? Now, we can experience the enchanting beauty of Japan's Sakura under the moonlight with Tokyo Tree and Sakura Ko's special Yozakura box, themed around the Cherry Blossom Festival. Now, I can't just show you the snacks without talking a little bit about them. We had some sweet and savory corn puffs, white chocolate covered freeze dried strawberries, some Sakura mochis, of course, and we had this cherry blossom yokan, which is a white bean paste that has been mixed with cherry blossom leaves. This month's tableware item is Sakura glass. As you can see on your screen right here, it's absolutely beautiful and it is adorable as well. My wife loves it and I can't wait to use it as a daily driver for small shots of espresso. Now, we also get to enjoy a cup of blueberry hibiscus tea. And let me tell you, the moment I opened this package, the entire room smelled of blueberry muffins. Gotta love it. Next up, we have our Tokyo Treat box. Now, Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box, and you'll get up to 20 of the exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks, including Japanese instant ramen and drinks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Now, Tokyo Treat's theme for this month is Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest box. Now, we should talk about the snacks here real quick because what I'm doing right now is I'm laying them all out uh, on these little plates, on these little serving dishes because I have some friends over to, of course, celebrate our 20K subscriber milestone. What better way to celebrate a special occasion than with a box like this? Starting off in the center here, we actually have a Sakura cream cake. Uh, it is the centerpiece of this dish and it was my wife's favorite item in the box as well. A close second is this actually, the Glyco Bisco Cracker, which was really good. These potato chips, by the way, were super savory, really nice, kind of reminded me of sour cream and onion. We also got some curry crackers right there and of course, some strawberry Kit Kat. These premium chocolates were super rich and creamy. Gotta love them. You also got some yakisoba and a cherry cola, which was a refreshing way to top things off. So if you're thinking of getting yourself or a loved one a Tokyo Tree or Sakura Co. box, be sure to use my code Azalea at checkout to get $5 off your first box. You'll also be directly supporting my channel, so I very much appreciate it. And now, back to the summoning. All right, guys, here we go. It is time for the Galaxy Bookmark Summons. 722 Galaxy Bookmarks here. Let's see what that ends up getting us. Leave your predictions now in the comments down below, or if you're watching the premiere in the chat, I wanna know how many ML5s do you think we're gonna end up pulling, right? Uh, so let's start off here with Hustle. That is pretty sick. Uh, I don't... Ooh, ooh. Oh, wait. It's a four-star. Well, that's kind of nice. I have not done Galaxy Summons, I think, since the new animations came out. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Bloodblade Karin. That's nice. Uh, six left until a guaranteed four to five-star hero summon. That's pretty good. So we'll see what that, uh, that gets us here. Yeah, let's see uh, which one of you guys is going to be the closest uh, to the number of five stars that we pull. All right. Ooh. Okay. I'm a little excited right now because I have not done these summons in like pretty much a year. No, I think it actually has been like a year. So I'm savoring the moment, guys. I'm savoring this. We got Blaze Dingo there. What are we getting with this one? Got a Ranger. I uh, got ML Leo, okay. Uh, one of the few ML4s, I think I don't have SSS right now. Uh, I just don't feed my Leos into him, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like ML Leo, but I got destroyed by him once, so hey, he must be pretty good. At least decent. All right, Otili. All right, here we go. Four, first four to five star Moonlight Hero Guarantee Summon. I actually don't know what the upgraded summon rates are. Uh, 15%. So let's see if we can get 15%ed in a good way. Oh, here we go. 
Let's see. Oh, a ranger. Oh, nice. Operator Cigarette. I do already have her, but that is pretty cool, guys. All right, Opsig. There we go. Very, very nice. Uh, I should probably... Oh, oh, wait. No, hang on. I was not expecting it so so fast. Come on. A warrior? Dilbet. Hey, not too shabby. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see like a light Lilibet come out. I don't think so because they're already doing like the runaway... Um, the fashion uh, side story with like Dilbet and stuff. I don't think they're going to make a light version of her. So... I guess I'll hold on to this copy of Dilibet and we'll see for the future. Because uh, I think my Dilibet's already really close to SSS, and I think the other Lilibet we pulled might bring her to SSS. I, I don't know, but I, we'll, we'll check later. Um, Seven, so okay. Alright, what else do we got here? Camilla, very good, by the way, in Ancient Inheritance. So if you pull Camilla's, don't be afraid to, uh, to keep her. She is very solid. She's also Speed Imprint. Right, what we got? Four star Moonlight Warrior. Uh, oh, Great Chief Kawana! God, I forgot that she exists in the game! Honestly, she has like one of the most beautiful designs, and they wasted her potential of making her a Katie's unit. And hardly anyone uses her in Katie's, too. I mean, Midnight Gone Lilius is just straight up better, right? Um, for that mode. Uh, Eaton, okay. Very nice. Uh, I do really want to build an Eaton, but I don't have the gear for him. Uh, he's a very easy unit to build, you just build him with a ton of HP. Oh, we got a fake out! Four star Shadow Rose! Let's go, I do use her in my uh, Banshee team. Okay, got another four star. A Coley, perhaps? No, t oh, Tempest Surin, I will take it. Very cool. I need to use her more, and I also should probably use her skin too, because her skin looks pretty nice. Uh, we got Batiste. Okay, I mean, our raids so far haven't been bad. Nice, we got a pilot here. Uh, not the specialty change one, but you know. Um, yeah, our raids are not terrible so far. Ooh, there we go, Penelope. Can they, can they specialty change Penelope? Speaking of specialty changes, like, we, we're long overdue for one, right? Let me know who you guys want to be the next specialty change. ML version. Um, Yung or Yang, I think, is also a very popular character uh, as a candidate for it, uh, based on community, right? Fighter Maya, very cool. Can use Rocket Punch Gauntlet very, very well. Alright, got a Seven. He seems to be just showing up every every few summons, going like, hey, how about me? Uh, <laughs> Gun Arwell, nice, nice. You see a lot of uh, really strong units, right? There are ML3s that are very accessible, right? Doris, also very strong. Guild Wars is a light bait unit. So there we go. Got another Arwell. Yeah, so they're pretty accessible. Now, as the uh, ML pool grows larger and larger, uh, it is harder to get specific, like, three or four star characters. So I do have to do have to point that out. Nice, we got Moon Bunny. Oh, and then after this summon, there's one more until a guarantee. So here we go. Let's get 15% in. Oh, no, we didn't. Shoot, for all the times we get 15% in RTA, we don't get 15% in now, but hey, we got a C-Dom! Love to see it. Okay, come on now. We're, again, we have really solid rates with these 4-star pulls, but the 4-stars are not necessarily what I want. Again, usually when you get a copy, a single copy of a character, you're good, right, in this game. Uh, you get a single ML 4-star and you just imprint them with regular versions of the 4-star. Like, I can use regular Rin to imprint Crescent Moon Rin, right? So how many 5-stars with that so far? We got two, right? We got two. So, none of them were new, either. That's unfortunate. Looking for some new ones. Uh, I would take, like, an ML Ron too. ML Ron would be really, really nice. Okay, Champion Zerato, not too bad. Let's keep on going here. Ooh, speaking of whom, uh, Yuri Young, there we go. I don't, I think she is SSS for me, actually. She is SSS. I do want to build her because I really like her design. But again, I'm, I'm just kind of strapped for gear for these types of units. So many units want to be like tanky and bruisery. I'm just kind of um, lacking that... Uh, those pieces. Now, wow, another Arrowwell. Jeez, we're getting so many. 
I would like to pull more copies of that new 3 star, I forgot her name already. Um, I would like more copies of her because it's the only way to get imprints of her is to pull her from galaxies. Alright, what do we get? Um, no, 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 no. Alright, let's keep on going. Got Wanda. Okay, got a four star here. Oh, Crescent Moon Rin. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, five star. We need. Fi oh, hang on. Now I'll take it. Better than a five star. Uh, we got Pernilla again. Very nice. I I, uh, I think she does something with her brother, right? They have like kind of a combo. Um, they have a combo that they do with each other, which is kind of cool. I would love to see something like that in the future. That's a slippery slope. Right, we're, um, you know, if two units are together, then they're absolutely insane. But then again, Narti, it's pretty easily uh, countered by just banning one of them. It is a really slippery slope, though, because you can technically force bans with a combo like that in, in most cases. So you can get away with drafting literally everything else that you want. Um, but yeah, so let's see here. Come on, come on now. <laughs> All these summons, and we've only gotten an Opsig and a Dilibet so far. That's a little depressing. Okay, here we go. Upgrade a summon. Let's exit the menu, right? See this? See the sparks? See the glows? Let's go! 15%! Oh, I'm crying inside, guys. I'm crying. Okay, we got a 4-star. Kitty Clarissa, at least we're not seeing, like, the same units over and over and over again. Okay, let's do another poll. Let's see what we got. Um, Tempest Surin, okay. No, we got an Arwell. Okay, we got an Inos. Ar I, mean, I swear, we could have like SSSed our, uh, our new, newly pulled Arwell by now with how much she shows up. Got another Camilla, good, good, good. Oh, a little lag here. Oh, is that good? Is that a good sign? That's not a good sign. Pernilla? Can we get a Pernilla here? Maybe Smog is trying to nerf me right now. They're like, oh, oh shoot. As is doing a big summoning right now. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh no. This is going to be one of those summoning sessions, huh? It's going to be one of those sessions. Nice. Another Penelope. Uh, we've already SSSed her. Um, I was begging for Penelopes back when we did our previous, I think, couple summonings for subscriber specials. But uh, yeah, not anymore. We got our SSSed. Now we're just waiting for a specialty change. Another great chief, Kawana. I really do want to use her, but you can't really do it in PvP. I just wish they kind of buff her. Make her like kind of a four-star hand guy-ish. It'd be kind of nice, but hand even hand guy's time has come and gone. So that's telling you something. All right, we got pilots here. Okay, got another Camilla. I'm going to get this plus 10 speed imprint on her at this rate, too. Requiem Roar. Now, I'm not a huge fan of all the Banshees continuously getting uh, their special changes in a row, but Small Gates kind of decided to not specially change anyone ever again, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, but Requiem Roar is definitely one I want to see specially change, along with Gloomy Rain. Talia, I actually don't think I have her um, fully SSSed. I think I own her, because this wasn't a new sh uh, wasn't a new unit. Another uh, pilot's here, oh my god. Maybe they're, maybe they're rigging rates, maybe they're like, hey, get these three stars, they're good. You know, we only saw Harado like one time. Alright, come on, what do we got? Oh, Shadow Rose, okay. Where are the sparks, guys? Uh, did, did those of you guys who like, maybe those of you guys who said, oh, he's only gonna summon like two ML5s, you're, you're jinxing me right now. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Don't worry, we calm down, we got this. We got this. Uh, A-Lots, very cool. Glad they didn't um, didn't go through with their little buff changes. Uh, he is kind of good as he is. I would be curious to see if he'd be more viable in PvP though with his changes. Nice, another Pernilla. That's what I'm talking about. If I'm not gonna get four, five, I mean, if I'm not gonna get five stars, uh, give me Pernilla. Look at, look at their sprite, I really like it. It's really cool. All right, here we go, one more. Upgraded summon. We did No! What? That's not how 15% works. Look, I've played enough RTA to know that this is not how 15% works, okay? Uh, this is an absolute scam. So we're like, um, 
We're actually not even halfway through our summons. Holy! All right, let's let's keep going for it. We got Celeste. All right, keep on going here. We got Eaton. Come on now, <laughs> these three stars, guys. These three stars. Hey, another Elson. Very cool. More Seven. Can we see every single character in the game by pulling this much? I wonder. Who's keeping score? Who's you guys should have like bingo card. Next time we do this, we should make bingo boards, right? See who gets bingo first. <laughs> All right, uh, we got Gunther. Oh, oh, here we go. Connecting. Ah, uh, no, Pernilla. No, young or young, pretty cool though. I, I'll take it. I like her pose in her sprite. It's really nice. Uh, got a Harado. There you go. Second time seeing him. Got more Eatons. Very cool. Uh, more four stars. Uh, T. Surin. Hmm, guys. I don't know. Did one of you all curse me? Did Did you guys curse me here? Some of you guys who are summoning. I think some of you guys said you're gonna summon alongside me. So hey, maybe as this is premiering right now, is uh. Any of you guys, you know, taking my luck? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video though. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the watch. The adrenaline is pumping, right? Um, mine's starting to wear off a little bit. I need a little, I need a little spark here. I need a little ML5 action to get me uh, excited again. So, got three summons until guaranteed. Mm. Yo guys, I think these rates are rigged. These galaxy summons. And here I was thinking, oh, I'll wait for the next day. Maybe I'll summon with ML Politis. Maybe I'll get ML Politis. Nah, maybe I won't get any more five stars. <laughs> That'd be so depressing. Okay, all right. It's it's time, right? Imagine yourself right now, okay? You are, uh, I'm, I'm champion Zerato, and the opponent is attacking me with a debuff, right? Here we go. Here we go. Champ C, 15%? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Oh god, uh, Singelica, very cool, very cool, but again, not who we're hoping for. We needed, we needed a, a, a five star here, come on, something I don't have. Peacemaker Furious is cool, I actually uh, really like how he looks here. Uh, I just um, wish it was a bit more viable, that's it. All right, got Knight, Crimson Armin, ah, oh, Trollmaker Crozette, I'm like always off, I'm, I'm always guessing the wrong unit. All right, got Gunther. Oh, another Gunther! Okay, I mean, we lagged before Gunther earlier too, so who knows? Ooh, Talia, very nice. Uh, I, will, I won't mind more copies of her too, I, I really want to get every character SSS in print, right? At least the three and four stars, it's easier to get SSS in print. Um, five stars, uh, that's probably not going to happen, but, you know. Oh no, mm-mm-mm. Come on, another five star here, somewhere! Somewhere in the depths of Epic 7! In the depths of Orbis! We gotta get something! Oh no, that almost got me there. I thought, I thought it was gonna be. But nope. Got Broman! Hey! I actually do have mine built, but I don't think mine's fast enough to contest like... Or to, to kind of be an anti-Zeo type unit. Um, I know that's kind of what they gave him in terms of his kit. But uh, he's like two, just shy of 280 speed. I, I still don't think that's fast enough. Now Doris, very good. Come on now, I, I don't think I've been scammed this hard, oh my god, since like one of the first ML uh, summoning sessions we've done. Guys, don't save your, don't save your galaxy bookmarks, just summon. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> what? Smallgate does not want to uh, celebrate our 20k subscriber special here. Oh, okay, we got Hustle. By the way, if you guys are enjoying, uh, do be sure to subscribe. Leave a like on the video as well. It really does help me out. Gets this video out there, gets this channel out there. Uh, like, okay, one more guaranteed summon, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it, please. 15%? What is the scam? <laughs> oh, no. Alright, well if Smallgate is not going to help support the channel, then uh, hopefully you guys uh, will. If you guys are uh, interested in uh, the Tokyo Trait or Sakura Co. boxes, by the way, uh, if you are a new customer and you get your first box, you get $5 off with my code Azalea, um, it also helps directly support the channel. So uh, by, by getting those boxes in your first order, 
you are supporting me in the process, so do consider it. Really appreciate it. All right, uh, because apparently we're all we're getting is going to be Talia imprints. That is awful. <laughs> Uh, should I stop asking for 3 stars? Maybe that's my problem. I'm like hoping for Talia, but like, uh, that, that might not be the best course of action here. More Wanda's, very cool. A good number of the, uh, the ML 3 star roster is actually specialty changed, so that's kind of nice. I wish they'd bring more specialty changes though. We need a more routine procedure for these specialty changes. I think people got tired of the PvE type units. We really don't need too many PvE type units for the three stars. And I know it's really difficult to make the, the three stars uh, specialty changes viable for PvP. But it's not impossible. They've shown that it can definitely be done with Researcher Carrot, with Arwell, with Pylos, right? Uh, there's a lot of units out there that got specialty changes that are pretty good. Okay. Come on now. We gotta... We gotta have something here. If, if I if I didn't have Yunger Yang, she'd be like quadruple, uh, like S by now. Like we we pulled too many of her. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man, what are these rates? Oh my God, we've not pulled something in like over ten minutes. I'd say, maybe maybe even longer than that. Maybe fifteen minutes. Oh my God, where? Where are the five stars? Where are the five stars, guys? Well, like, actually, where are the five stars? I am a little genuinely concerned. Let's check the rates. Let's check the rates. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, nice. Bad Cat Armin. Uh, I actually do have her built. I really want to use her, but I'm going to surprise you guys with that. Uh, two and a half percent? Yo. No. That's not. That can't be right. That can't be. That can't be right. Okay, cannot be right. Come on, please. Oh my god, guys, the, the, I said the rates were good before. No, they're... We're hardly even getting four stars now. We're getting absolutely uh, scam. This is a sham. This is why I don't like Galaxy Bookmark summons, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. 15%. Oh. <laughs> Like your best chances for an ML Fiver with the guaranteed four to five star summon, but oh my god, do we even have enough left to get to another guaranteed summon? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we have 16 summons left, guys. Oh no. All right, that's the countdown. It begins. Maybe those of you guys who guessed like three, maybe even two, maybe this, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it, you guys, we're not going to get anything else. This is it. How many- oh my god, we're getting shafted by these three stars. Please. Somewhere. Somewhere. Smilegate. Please! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess this video is now about to get shared around uh, as video proof of um, how galaxies are an absolute sham. Uh, but by the way, if you do have extra gold transmit stones, always do buy Galaxy Summons, especially if you're a newer player, because they do help you get your hands on these ML3s, ML4s, ML5s occasionally. Mm, we know the 5 stars are a lie at least. But yeah, the 3 stars and 4 stars, they're definitely going to be very useful to you. Uh, so make sure you don't you don't skimp out on the, on the Galaxy Summons there. Uh, are we going to... we have what, 3 more summons? Oh my god. I'm about to cry right now, guys. This is, this is not how it's supposed to. This is not how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to be swimming in ML fives. I guess you guys are now rejoicing in the comments, right? We won't have any angry commenters, um, so that's cool. So you guys are probably cheering right now, like, yes, justice is served. <laughs> the content creator doesn't always get lucky. Uh, no, this is not. When I don't have a rigged account or anything, guys. This is plain and simple. Uh, just exactly what you see is what you get, and we have one last summon. Are you guys ready? This is it. ML5. I don't think we got a four star in the last 16 summons. Let's go! No! <laughs> the biggest Galaxy Bookmark summoning session turned out to be the biggest scam. Blaze Dingo is gonna be our last one here. Ah. <sighs>
Well, that's it, guys. That is it. No more Moonlight Summons until the next milestone that we reach. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to go check out Sakura Co. and Tokyo Tree. And if you're interested in buying a box, use code Azalea for $5 off your first purchase. And with that being said, though, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Take care. Hey, look, they're using Duel to revive my dead will and my broken dreams.